Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. Ooh, I mean, good late morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. We're going to see about James coloring while I do the dishes in the kitchen. Today is kind of starting off at least with a bit of errands and cleaning up and organizing. We officially ordered Teddy's birth certificate. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah. Sarah's editing the vlog right now. I'm gonna do the dishes, clean up the kitchen while he's with me. Teddy's with Sarah. I still have to shave. Um, not going to the Cubs game today, just something to my brother and his some, some of his family are gonna go with him to the game. Also means they might stop by. They haven't met Teddy yet. Also Sarah's older sister's gonna come by later today to meet Teddy. So, um, fun day. Kind of fun home-ish day. Maybe we'll go out to the park later for a walk or something. Um, but this moment right now, responsible tidying around the house. So good. Good job. Yay. Outside running errands. Running a few errands, gonna drop off some dry cleaning. I'm going to cancel my Planet Fitness membership. It's not nice outside, so you can run outside all the time. Uh, where are we going? We have some donation clothes to drop off and then a Target trip. So that's what James and I are doing. I had James on the stroller. Got him lotioned up in sunblock because it's 93 out, and the hopes are that he'll fall asleep and take a nap on this little. Aaron running I'm doing. Not literally running, but literally walking. How, much, how often do you do errands on your feet? Let us know. Do you guys do errands on your feet? I guess if you live in like a small town or a really big town, that works. But most medium towns, you really couldn't. I love when planning works out. I'm uh, already done, canceled at the gym membership. That took about three seconds and James already fallen, has already fallen asleep. So that's good two things off our list now he just needs to stay asleep and it'll make the rest of these errands even easier clothes dropped off the dry cleaners just walking through this beautiful beautiful day i'm rocking kind of a foggy headache today it's a bit of a bummer but we're gonna work through it maybe get a coffee baby's still asleep i'm gonna drop off some donations there's actually a park over here that they have a clothing donation drop off which i'll use on my way to target knocking the, the errands out. Okay, so the boys are out and about and I'm going to start prepping dinner. My last crock pot meal was a bit of a I wouldn't say a total fail, just like nothing to write home about. Honestly, I hope none of you tried it. It wasn't it wasn't that bad. I think I should not have put Brussels sprouts in it and that kind of changed the whole feel of it. But anywho, um, this I'm hoping is better. It is a coconut quinoa curry that I'm going to serve over rice and then some sort of salad on the side and then some pita. Um, I will put the link in the description below. I started to prep it with Teddy um, and then he was just a little upset so I got him down for a nap but if you can hear the monitor he's kind of moving around a little bit so I'll do my best. So what I've already added to the crock pot is about three cups of potatoes. The recipe calls for sweet potato. I don't like sweet potato, so I just did regular yellow potatoes. And then about two cups of broccoli. This is my favorite appliance in the world. It's a can opener. So 
that was 15 ounces of chickpeas rinsed and drained or drained and rinsed and then half in a white onion and then 28 ounces of canned diced tomatoes so two of these size cans and then two cans of coconut milk I realize I only have one so I'm gonna see if I have any coconut milk of Jamesy's that I'll add to it but I'm bummed because this is like the best part I'm so bummed I hope that it's still got a lot of coconutty flavor I ended up well, it's Peter I just ended up using oat milk just to keep it liquidy so yeah I just wanted to keep like a better consistency so I added some of the oat milk um, won't be as creamy but it's still nice and savory and then a quarter cup of uncooked quinoa two cloves of minced garlic a tablespoon of ginger and then I realized I didn't have enough turmeric so I'm going to use this little curry seasoning that is like a little sample size that Peter's mom got me um, so thank goodness we have this so I don't know what the curry would have been without the curry so I'm gonna use like a tablespoon of this and then the recipe calls for tamari sauce but I only have soy sauce so two teaspoons of that and then half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes I'm just gonna shake them in I set the crock pot to high and then you just like mix it until it's all incorporated and let it cook for three to four hours now, this is more of a standard uh, target haul not too much more than we needed to but we're going smoothly with Sarah and I we're going more on the health kick uh, Sarah does not know I got those nutty buddies down there because we haven't been able to find them. Get myself a bottle of bourbon for Father's Day weekend. Also getting myself this shirt because this weekend is Pride and we're going to be going to one if not both of the days. There was a different one that was a Chicago flag with rainbows instead of stars and Sarah was hoping for that one but we, you know, at Target in the North Halstead area, I just got to get shirts when you see them because they'll go. Okay, I kind of got in like a determined mood. And I did not want to carry anything back. Look at the bottom of this one. Absolutely ridiculous. Sticking up on where his feet is. And he's still asleep. Still snoozing. I used to think the essence of Chicago architecture was the bungalow. But I think a three flat like this in stone. With the ivy all on the side and the trees. I believe that's the essence of Chicago architecture. And one day I will own one. Mark my words on this vlog. And what I mean by that is that I'll own one here and then I'll own something else in Orlando. We'll see about wherever else life takes me. Um, but yeah, these things are gorgeous. Look at these two little scavengers getting in on some popcorn action. Oh. Sorry, Evie, this is people food. We have a very sleepy baby, but we have an aunt. <laughs> what are you two doing over here? <laughs> he can't get enough of this thing, so Jack in the box. <laughs> Who in the box? We, uh, Jenna, Jenna, Sarah's older sister's pulling up any minute now. Let's go hang out for a little bit and then meet Teddy. <laughs> we might go to a splash pad, we'll see. <laughs> There is a park near us that's doing movie night. This is exciting. I've never seen this. Obviously, I've seen these two, but this is tomorrow. So we walked all the way here and the water is not on. And you can tell everyone's kids are here in their bathing suits and they're not on. Maybe it was on earlier. We're bummed. At least there's still a park. So this is the park by Christina and Grant's old apartment that's sponsored by the Cubs. I think this is the first time we've ever seen a hula hoop. Those hula hoops were actually bases for uh, somebody to play baseball. So, quickly left those. You can do it, Jamesy. Climb this mountain. Climb it. Climb it. Best thing about city parks, I mean, I don't want to say not city parks, because I don't know if non-city parks don't do this, but a lot of city parks have, like, people who just brought toys for the park for anybody to use. <laughs> <laughs> James he knows how to go down the stairs backwards and he just went down the slide all by himself. Good job. 
Is that in your belly? Or slide in your butt. That's cool too. If you're big enough. One, two, three, go! Yay! Here, I, I, I'll catch you. There you go. Just push yourself down. Oh. Too soggy, kid. You're going to have to speed that up. Wow! <laughs> wow! <Yeah. laughs> that breeze feels good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I might have gotten that though. <laughs> Ouchie! Okay, go down. I'll get you. I'll get you. Whoa, you. <laughs> you did it. Good job. Whoa. You big kid. Oh my gosh, Jamesy. Wow. <laughs> Auntie <laughs> Jenna's got skills. Our cookie was still hot from being just out of the oven. Before dinner, you're a lucky boy. Yum. It's very windy with these are the cupcakes. What did you get? Tiramisu? Yeah, Tiramisu. Jen, what'd you get? Uh, hazelnut bun. There Yum. And I got brownie. Cooking some brown basmati rice to go with our curry dinner that Sarah put in the slow cooker. Slow cooker? Slow, slow cooker. Slow cooker. Alrighty, our curry is bowling. Tastes really good. I would just add a little bit of salt and a little bit of the, like, whatever sort of curry powder just to give it a little bit more oomph. Um, but very good. It's got a really nice and creamy consistency. Peter is doing a rice race because we just want to eat as fast as possible. We had two different kinds of rice. So it's like, I'm just going to cook them both. Whichever one finishes first. So that's what we're doing for like the base. And then Peter picked up this quick chopped salad kit from Target just for a little side. But it's nice. It's got avocado in it, all different kinds of lettuce and cabbage, um, kale, cheddar cheese, and green onion. Who is under there? Are you playing? Sweetie pie. Let's freeze. Auntie Jenna has left. Get ready to hop. And now it's time for a dance party. Boing, 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 boing. is unsure. Look at this hair. Just hanging off my dudes. First, my big dude fell asleep and put him in the crib. And now this dude, little dude fell asleep. Not putting him in a bassinet just yet. Just kind of soaking this up. Um, it's close enough to midnight that a bunch of the Apple TV Plus shows released that were supposed to release on Friday, which includes the whole new season of Home, which if you have Apple TV Plus, please give it a try. I think it's a beautiful show. Watching about a beautiful house in France. Um, 
It makes me think Sarah and I should just like somehow build a house. Not buy a house, but like either build a fixed upper or like go way different, like go to Colorado well, West, Pacific Northwest, and build a house in the nature. These are the thoughts when I'm tired and it's late. This thing is the best thing we've ever bought. Our fake little candlelight. Yeah. We have a fun day tomorrow. Gear up. Oh, yeah. um, the aquarium. Yeah. And I have a dermatologist appointment. And if this tattoo artist ever replies, maybe I'll get a tattoo. It's our plan for a Father's Day gift. <laughs> it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. Oh, good job. Five years out, we're getting somewhere. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.